Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to talk about how to create a custom playbook in Madden 23. Um, this method works in all the, the Maddens prior for like the last five years. So I'm going to try to do it in about 10 minutes. So let's do it. All right. So the first thing you need to do is you need to start with a blank playbook. Luckily, I've already done the work for you and I've cleared one out. So I'm going to show you how to download it. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to the NFL logo and then come down to share and manage files and then you're going to select download community files all right and then you're going to scroll over to offensive playbook all the way it's the fourth one on the right and then from here you're going to press y and you're going to search for keyword and you're going to type in blank lion i'll put it up on the screen this is an empty lions playbook so then you're going to select it and then you're going to press download file and it's going to download to your uh, to your profile. All right. So now that you've downloaded it, you're going to go back to the NFL logo and go down to playbooks. And you're going to go over to edit offense. And it's going to be right there. It's going to be that playbook you just downloaded. So when you open this playbook up, you're going to notice that there's actually two plays left. It's not completely blank. One of them is in a play action situation that you cannot remove. And the other one's stuck inside of a conserve time save situation that you also can't edit or move. I've messed with the playbook settings enough. This is as little amount of plays as you can get in a playbook possible. So you're kind of just stuck with these two plays. But now you're pretty much starting with a blank playbook so you can just start adding plays to it. All right, so now you're going to go over to the All Plays tab at the top. It's the third one over. And this is where you start adding all the plays that you want in your playbook. So on that left trigger, the one I'm scrolling through right now, this is all the formations. So you have shotgun, single back, strong, weak. I'll start with shotgun. And then once you decide on which formation you want to start adding, then you can press right trigger on the right side. And then you start looking through all the sets within shotgun. So then there's bunch. And there's a ton for shotgun. Then there's doubles. You start getting your empty, which is your five set, like the five wide. So yeah, this is where you start cherry picking all the plays that you want in the game. And this is where you really start building it. So yeah, left trigger is going to be like the formations. And then once you land on a formation, then you're going to hit the right trigger and look through all the different sets that they have and just start picking plays. And to actually start picking the plays, you just scroll down and then you just start checking boxes. All right, so once you start checking boxes, it's going to start adding it to your playbook. So if you hit left B at the top, you're going to go over to the My Playbook tab. And this is your playbook. This is where all the plays start getting added. You can see I started adding all those single back plays. So this is where you start to build your playbook. So the All Plays tab is all the plays in the entire game of Madden. And the My Playbook tab is your playbook. All right, so once you're done adding all the plays to your playbook, you're going to want to go over to the audibles. And this is one of the most important parts that I forgot when I started building playbooks. You want to make sure you're setting all of your audibles. I think the best way for me to explain this is with actual gameplay on why it's so important to set your audibles. Just for reference, the formation I'm going to be using is shotgun, tray, open, offset. And you're going to want to set inside zone at the top. And then you're also going to want to set mountain z spot and mountain halfback swing and then once you check all those plays you're going to come over to audibles then you're going to select shotgun the one that we were just using and you're going to want to set all your audibles so you want to select inside zone the halfback swing and then the z spot and i'll show you why this is important all right so now we're in practice i'm going to show you why it's so important to have your audible set the first play we're going to do is the inside zone, and we're going to look at how many linebackers are on the field. So if you look at it, there's only one linebacker, and there's four defense alignments. So it's kind of a light box, so we're not going to audible, and we're going to run this play like normal. Go! All right, so since it was such a light box and there was only one linebacker, we picked about 12 yards on the play, so that's pretty good. So now we're running the same play in the same formation again. And as you can see right now, now there's two linebackers. And I don't like that as much for a run play. So I'm going to audible. So now I'm going to change it to like a swing pass to the right side. And hopefully this gets some good yardage. Panthers 
60, Panther 60. Ready. So that's exactly what we want. So if you see something on defense that you don't like, you audible and you change the play. And that's exactly what happened. And it ended up being a positive play. And then finally, we're in the same formation again. I called the same run play to begin with. And then we're going to audible out of it because we see two linebackers again. So now that there's two linebackers, we don't want to run it. And we don't want to run the same swing play that I just ran. We're going to do a variation of it. And, and right here, this is where you start pissing people off online. And this is where it starts to get really fun when you start calling audibles. So if you just got done running that swing play, the play before, you can call this play, which he's the running back is also going to swing again. But then there's going to be, you can see number seven, instead of blocking, he's going to run a slant right behind that linebacker. And if you just gained a bunch of yards on the swing pass, the play before... There's a good chance if you're playing someone online, they're going to they're gonna use or man that linebacker, and they're going to chase the running back to the sideline, and then it's going to leave uh, the tight end right in the, uh, in the slot. He's going to be wide open. You won't see it in this exact video because I'm in practice and I'm playing the computer, but I've done it 100 times online, where if you just keep running that swing play, eventually they're going to follow it, and, and A, right over the middle, he's going to be wide open. This is why it's so important that you have to set your audibles in your custom playbook just so you can keep manipulating people when you're playing them online. It keeps you unpredictable, and then if you see something on the defensive side that you don't like, you can change plays to something more high percentage so you can get more yards out of it. The last section of custom playbooks is the My Game Plan tab. I saved this one for the very end because it's by far the most complicated part to understand. When you come to the My Game Plan tab, there is no explanation at all how to use it. If you look around the whole screen, there's no like tutorial or little paragraph explaining how this tool is supposed to be used. Even if you press the help button at the bottom, it pulls up a screen and it doesn't explain the star system or how the My Game Plan tab actually works. EA flat out just does not communicate on how to use this part of the playbook. The way that I found out how to use this tab is I literally had to go on YouTube and find it out from somebody else just like you're doing right now because there is I just don't know how to use it. I had to find out from somebody else. So if you press LT and you start scrolling down, you'll see all the, uh, the certain situations that they have and then you can add plays into those situations. So this is where it gets really complicated, but I'm going to try my best to explain it. So I'm on the first down situation right now. And you have to do them in like groups of three. So if you look, the first, the top, the five star plays at the top, there's three of them. And then there's four and a half stars. And there's three of those plays. And then there's four stars. And there's three of them. So you have to do them in groups of three, starting with five stars. And then when you go to your next section of three, you do them four and a half stars. And then after that, you do four stars. And you just keep going all the way to the bottom. And you have to do them in sections of three like this, like a three tier. So for every situation file, first down, second down, third down, all those situations, you just have to you have to group all the plays and you have to do them by like groups of three starting with five star and then you just bump it down to four and a half star and you have to do that for every situation. From my experience, putting them in sections of three like this has worked pretty well. Even though EA doesn't explain that that's actually the real way on how to, to set your situation files with this bullshit star system. For me, doing it that way has worked pretty well. The only situation file that you shouldn't set is the two-minute offense. I, uh, I addressed this in my first video that I posted, but the two-minute offense situation is broken. So don't, don't even waste your fucking time setting it because it's been broken since I think it's Madden 21 with Lamar on the cover. So don't even bother setting that one because it's not going to work. So once you finish setting all your situation files, I'll show you third and long for example. All these plays right here, you're only going to be allowed to see these in-game when, when it's actually third and long. You're not going to be able to pull up these list of plays whenever you want. So let's just say it's fourth down and you want to look at your third and long plays. You're going to have to go to your fourth and long and you're going to have to set those. You're not going to be able to access all these different situations whenever you want to. You're only going to be allowed to see these plays when the situation calls for it. Like on third and long, that's the only time you'll ever see this playlist. The problem that I have with that is after I score a touchdown, I like to go for two a lot. 
So these are all my go for two plays right here. I basically have to memorize what plays I have in this go for two file because the coaching suggestion is just going to recommend that I kick a field goal. And it's not going to recommend that I go for two unless I'm down by two. So that's kind of the main issue I have with like this my game plan tab is that you have to like, you have to, I have to memorize what plays I have in my go for two because it's not going to recommend it to me. So I have to remember which kind of blows. There's a lot of things with this custom playbook setting that does blow and it just is complete trash. And I made a completely separate YouTube video of explaining all the things that uh, EA could do to make this setting better. If you guys want to go watch that, I'll link it in this, uh, the description below. All right, so I hope that video was helpful for you. Um, if you liked it, share it with somebody who needs it. Uh, comment, I love some feedback. Like it as well. And then just go check out all of my, uh, my other video that I have posted. I'm going to keep posting some more. So let's get it. Shitting me, gotta be kidding me. How could you shit on me?